Hey, Plotter Pals, I'm Cameron Sutter, one of the creators of Plotter. I'm excited today to tell you about our newest release that has some highly requested features. You can now pin your plot lines, duplicate your books, and reorder your template tabs, along with a few other things that I want to tell you about. Let me show you how they work. The first feature I want to show you is pinning plot lines. And I've got the three little pigs demo up here. And to do this, I need some more plot lines here to give you the full effect. So I'm just going to duplicate this one a few times. So pinning plot lines acts like freezing a row in the spreadsheet. So what you can do here is for each one of these plot lines, there's a new icon that is to pin it. So I'm going to pin pig one. And now when he's when that plot line is pinned, he always stays at the top there. No matter where you scroll, it's always at the top. And not only can you do it with just one, but you can do it with as many as you want. So we're going to pin the wolf there. And so both of them stay up like that. And of course, to unpin them, it's pretty simple as well. You can just click unpin and then they're not pinned anymore. The next feature I want to show you is duplicating books. And to do that, I'm going to go up to the project tab. And there's a new icon, new button with the books here that you can click, which will duplicate your book. So if I do this, it's going to create a copy of this one. Three little pigs. If you'll notice there, it says copy. We can show you three little pigs copy. And then if I were to open it here, it looks exactly like the original of the three little pigs that I had just been working in. Now, the last big feature I want to show you is reordering template tabs. And I'm going to show you in this, uh, the pigs build themselves homes here. We've got a few template tabs in this scene card. And I'm going to add a third one. So you can click Add Template there. And then I'm just going to choose a Sarah Cannon Scene Roadmap. But let's say I think that's more important for this scene. So I'm going to just drag it over to be in front there. So now it's the first template. And I can just reorder these as I see fit. And you can also do that in the Characters tab. So if I go over here to Pig 3 in the Characters tab, I've got the character bio and the magic blueprint. And again, I can just rearrange those as I see fit. That way, the most important one is always first for you. There's a few more small features that I have to tell you about. The first one is a new font that we've added to the rich content editors. It's a font just like any other that you can choose, and it helps for dyslexia. Next, you can easily access the image gallery from the file menu now. So now it'll be easier than ever to add images to your projects. And lastly, you can duplicate your projects easier than ever. From the dashboard, you can click Duplicate File, and it'll make a copy of your project. Or from the File menu itself, File, Duplicate File. There you go. That's our latest release. I think you're really going to like this one. Please share your comments below. And Otter out.